Good evening. Tonight I've got the 225 welder, professional version. Not a lot of documentation with this, but it is fairly simple. Uh, of course, it has a warning on the label that says, read and understand instruction manual, da 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 da. It's got the item number 91061, low torch with piezo start. The start is electronic start, and you press this button and it starts. So, what you do. This is how you turn the propane on and off. Fits right on top of a bottle, which is good and bad. It's nice and convenient, portable, but that's an awful small bottle, 14.1. It would be nicer if it had an adapter that you could take this and plug into a 20 pound tank. I think there is one out there that exists, but I'm not gonna pursue that because I'm not sure that that's a recommended way of doing it. Okay, so you turn on the propane here. You press this for the start. So if I turn it on, I can hear the propane, and then I light it. The difference between this and a normal torch, the normal nozzles are low pressure. They will only get so hot. And I needed something that would get metal hot enough to temper it. Here is a reciprocating saw blade. I filed off the teeth. Didn't do any shaping on it. So if I want to heat something up like this to heat treat it or to get it soft so that I can work it, I want to heat it up, this will do that. So I've got this nice little fire brick and I will start to heat that up. Oops. build the heat a little faster. You notice I've got that right on the metal. It takes about 10 minutes to get this up to heat. And that's why a 14 ounce can isn't as good. I think full blast a 14 ounce can will run through this in about three or four hours. See a nice glow on that now. Sideways so you can see it better. You see that it's getting a nice glow on it. Telling how hot that is by the color is almost like an art form. I'm new at this, so I don't know it, but that's getting pretty hot. The goal of this was to be, make it non-magnetic. Okay, I took this magnet off of the pin, turned it upside down because I couldn't get all the rubber off and I don't want to take the time. It's a rare earth magnet, very powerful. Still magnetic. I'm thinking this was around $25. Not magnetic. So at this point I could quench it in oil, in which case it would harden it, or I can put it in ashes and leave it overnight to cool slowly. And tomorrow morning it won't be hard. So you turn it off, you just turn this clockwise. Needless to say, that is very, very hot. Now as this cools, it will become magnetic. See, it became magnetic that fast. Cools extremely fast. I got a little bit of a bend in it from heating it up. So if you want to heat metal, this works fairly well. Now this is made for soldering pipes. Key thing is, it's got the electric start, so it starts right now every time. The normal nozzle is very low pressure. It'll heat up small copper pipes, let you solder them. It will not heat a piece of metal like this to non-magnetic. This one will. I don't think it's unregulated, but it most certainly lets out a ton of gas. So if you have a need to heat up metal, solder big pipes, this will do it for you. It uses the 14 ounce cans and the 16 ounce cans. 
I don't think you can get one with a top like this any bigger than that. But it's about, at about $25, I think this is a good deal. It most certainly does what I want it to do. I had a couple of these old burns matic tanks. And I'm using those up, but I did buy some of the one pound bottles until I can figure out how to adapt this to a 20 pound tank. Okay, so if you have a need for something like this, a torch that will get things hotter, this works out really well. The only drawback is the small tanks is all that it's made for. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.